E.E. E. Cummings wrote these words. I thank you, God, for most this amazing day, for the leaping greenly spirits of trees and the blue true dream of sky and for everything which is natural, which is infinite, which is yes. On Sunday last, we had Lindy Ramson with us. She did a beautiful job. And it reminded me, listening to her, of the sermon that she preached last June at our annual assembly about climate change, in which she talked in part about a report that came out in fall of 2018 that said that we had this narrow window of time to turn things around. Then it was about 12 years. Now it's down to more like 10. She said that people afterwards told her the changes that would be required were too drastic and that people wouldn't unite to make those kind of wholesale changes in their lives and work. And yet here we stand in this COVID-19 chapter of our lives and we have actually done just that, made enormous wholesale changes in our lives together around the globe. So on this Earth Day, when we reflect on our relationship with the Earth and our practices and commitments and recommitments as we go forward, let's sit with that piece of hopeful news. Even as you do all the other work and activism that you're doing, let's sit with the fact that we are capable of huge wholesale changes together when we're motivated. E. E. Cummings ended his poem saying, now the ears of my ears awake, now the eyes of my eyes are opened. So maybe for all of us, be well, happy Earth Day, everybody.